All right, so bagang. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mafia 2. Link to the previous episode the top right hand of your screen where we sold heroin. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Anyway, today's episode we shall be doing chapter 13 Exit the Dragon Joe's apartment we are in now 1951. You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, want to come join me? Hey. I hope there's room for 3 in there. Hey. Yo. Nice. Ugh, who's this? Barbaros Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal. And he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? 60 grand. God Fuck, damn. How much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we got to go. What for? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. Hmm. It was well white this time. Ah, right, let's go. Dude, let's go. All right. Let you stay home. I on the other hand I'm going. Now I've learned my lesson we shall be learned my lesson from the previous episode. Today we go with a vehicle with four doors. Or you know this one. Eh why not? Joe, Joe, why are you looking up like you don't know where we're going? It's weird. This vehicle has good acceleration and its traction is not half bad either. Oh god. I hope everybody's wearing their seat belts. Henry's different these days. Guys yeah, got a real What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry. Fuck it, I hit him with. Oh lord. Oh lord. Fuck. You going to be dog me? Was I no living though? Go fucking dead. Why? 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 What's going on? Fuck. Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit. Who the fuck does us like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Oh, the money's gone too. Oh man. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. 
<sighs> all the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? We gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in and ask him to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not going to go in guns blazing as usual? No, let's go in guns blazing. Gotta do this the smart way. All right? Ah, no. I'm all for guns blazing. It is through the roof. Like what? What just happened? Man, the Mafia series knows how to tell a story. Those might be leading us into our own trap though. Now we know where to find him. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry's or we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. Now nah, let's go in. I am feeling confident that the two of us should be more than enough. Don't bring big no. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. I'm going in. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Yeah, let's go in. Two of us are enough. Sorry, gentlemen, this place for member only. Here's your fucking membership. Told you. Damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they've done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gong while you were? He's over for you! Get the asshole behind the bar! I can't see. Why are you guys wearing black? And why is a fish dying in front of me? Watch out! They shoot from up top! Oh, thanks for the heads up, Joe. And that fish is really on, confusing. Vito, let's move up. I'm so sorry to all of you patrons. Come this on, has so tough. Oh god. Must be a 
China around here somewhere. Come on, Vito! That is so racist. I'm so sorry, patrons. This is nothing to do with you, but the owner of this place really took out one of our friends, and we're not happy about it. Otherwise, you can leave them a good Yelp review. Not every day is gonna be like this, so. Some of these little bastards for me. All right, you go first, Vito. Oh, of course. We're smaller target. Thanks. 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 Hey, you said we gotta do this smart, right? Oh, they go, boy. Man, even the chefs are fucking. Why? How did I miss? How did I miss? How did I miss? You're going to be dog meat! That is so resist. Oh, nice shot, Lido. Where the hell is that prick? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's keep going. Wow. Well, that's actually you, Joe. Almost shot you. How many more they got back there? Don't matter. I got plenty of bullets left. Oh god, I'm so dead. Thank you, Dude, this is a wall. Oh, never mind, it's an elevator. Never Shh. mind. Be quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Just sneak through here. I haven't done a section in stealth for ages. Yeah, Joshua.
Well, that did not last long. Also, doing it in stealth is not the brightest idea, to be honest. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. More of them in the elevator. These guys are like fucking cockroaches. Well, it is their home club, though. Alright, who else do we need to take care of? How are you still alive? Alright, that was the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. Man. You're dead, you slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? Oh, no, no. <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. Honestly. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend was a government informer. What, what? the fuck what are the you hell? talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. Yeah. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What? Where the hell is it then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room. If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Fine, your choice. Are you crazy? What you want to do, let him go or something? We could have gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. Huh. <sighs> us against the world, man. Looks like this place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Vito, come here. This should be the way out. Which one specifically? Okay. Man, this chapter is insane. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car, quick! This guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. 
Back me up, Vito. Copy that. Yeah, of course I was killed. They, we, are, we are surrounded. Okay, so how am I supposed to get out of here though? Ah, oh, fuck this! Come on, Vito, let's get out of here! There's too many of them! Find us a car, quick! He's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Copy that. The police will shoot you on site. You need to change clothes. Where the hell am I supposed to change clothes though? Huh. Oh, fucking hell. Going in! Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Yeah, we are gonna have Roger to shoot our way out of here. Which sucks. Two, three down. Come on. Four down. Five down. Alright. We lost him. Take me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh... Was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. Requesting a roadblock near the Chinatown subway station. Man, I cannot believe what just transpired. I cannot believe what just transpired. That was horribly intense. deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Tongs. And if they think Carlo sent us, that'll mean war. Yep. Psh, we're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No know, fucking right? way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. I'll call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Okay, so this is where Empire, the name Empire Bay came from. Interesting. So I was going to end that uh, exit the dragon chapter like right there, but upon checking my recording, it was too short. So I'm going to be doing this chapter next. Coming, coming, coming. Vito, you ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. 
Okay. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Okay, that was quick. Uh, just let's just wear black this time round. Uh, I need to go open a window, grab some food, which is absolutely nothing. Okay, that still healed us somehow, so I'm not complaining. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Honestly. Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Okay. Head over to Greenfield. <coughs> Somebody needs to get rid of this right. dumpster. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should oh no! Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished oh. business. Oh no! Give me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's got to be clean and it's got to be done today. Oh no! Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What this guy no. do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. No. The guy's got to come to him then. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. I have you say so. No. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. No. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. I'm not doing any more recording after this. Oh, you, may, you guys have heard me say no like a couple of times and I already know what's going to happen and it breaks my heart. Ah, no, 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 no. No. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but I don't think it was going to happen this quickly. Oh man, no. This sucks. Oh boy, I destroyed this car. Yeah. I cannot believe it. I actually cannot believe it. Alright, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys realize why I keep saying no over and over again. Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. Alright. Ah, Here we go then. Stop teasing me. Stop teasing me, Joe. Stop it. Oh, bloody hell. Oh no. No. Mr. Angelo. Oh I, man. Yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Damn. And yes, that's Tommy from the first Mafia. That's Tommy Angelo from the very first Mafia. Oh. Like I said, it's about six feet tall. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. We need police to the Greenfield. 
Ja. The game just told me to change my clothes and then I passed a clothes store, like right there. Ah, it's wrong with me. I'm gonna need you to stop shooting at the cops. Or you know, just ignore everything that I keep telling you and keep doing it anyway. Why are there so many cops all over the place? Oh, this is not blending well. Oh, fuck, that was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. it when the cops are all over the place. I need to ditch this guy and find another one. I swear there are cops everywhere. But there is also a very very convenient parking spot right here. Officers. Oh man, this is oh uh, I can't believe I get to watch Tommy die. I actually we actually got to watch Tommy die again. Oh man. Sucks. But we now know what happened to 
these guys for it to actually take go down like that Alright, let's take Joe to where he needs to go and end this chapter and episode at that point. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, so let's go see Derek. Man, you're still wanted. Should really get a change of clothes, to be honest. I'll do that later. That guy almost recognized me. Oh, what a beautiful overtake. I really might as well just change clothes to be honest. Only the finest attire for a man such as yourself. Did you feel the lining? That's real silk. Please come again. Pardon me, handsome. Oh my, sorry for knocking you out of the way like that. Alright, you're gonna turn right. Right again. I cannot believe what has just transpired over the last few episodes. It's all been extremely insane. And it seems like it's going to just get the more ridiculous the more we go on. Here we are.
All right, Derek, we need some work. Hey, Vito! Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that deadbeat you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. So you win? All right. I ain't Done. gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Done. Thousand dollars. Done. Let's go. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunages are. Alright. Do your thing, man, do your thing. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Blow just like your he did, voice John. Now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you, broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. Yeah. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletor's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. It's but what are you doing going working on. for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? Excuse hey, me? just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened? What the with hell my happened, father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all well, the things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. You swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Oh man, I'm gonna take you down right now. Like right now. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow Crazy me, thing. guys. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra power power we can do. Let's go, Vito. Get your back. I never trusted him from the moment I saw him. Oh, my God. 
boys, man. We were friends. Where's all the love? Come on, boys. We were friends. Where did all the love go? Come on, show yourself. Yikes. Alive, man. Goodbye, Steve. Something like this and walk away. Honestly, yeah. It's that main character energy. You miss your old man, Fido? Don't worry. We could still work this out. I can't see you, man. Stop throwing Molotov cocktails at me. Like father, like son, I veto. Joining the mob was the biggest mistake of my life. What do you think of Vito? You think you could just fucking do something like this and walk away? Honestly, yeah. You miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. When we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. I can't see him. Vito, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. You're gonna die here, Vito. Just like your father. You know what's gonna happen to you when people find out about this? <coughs> when we're done with you, I'm gonna feed you to the rats. You miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. Like father, like 
son, have we all? Goodbye, Derek. I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Indeed, $27,500, that's insane. Whoa, looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. About the cops. Yeah, they might be a problem. But anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God oh. help you. Okay, so where to next? Rob shops or bring cars to Bruski. Okay. Who's Bruski though? And that's so far away. But that's where we shall be going, but I shall come back to doing that in the next episode. So as for now, we're just gonna leave it here. So stay safe, be smart, be kind. Tell somebody love them today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. Amen. Amen.